What is happening guys? It's your girl Zai and I am back with another video. Y'all, I am so excited. This video has been long overdue. Y'all have been asking me, can you put out a video telling me how to move my mods to another drive? And I got the answer for you guys, but I didn't do it alone. Before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to Candice Louise X. She DM'd me on Instagram. She said, hi, thanks for reaching out came across a reddit post which detailed how to move your mods over to the d drive or another drive but unfortunately because windows 10 has retired their junction code she was unable to properly create a symbolic link with the method detailed but she did show me another way that you can move your mods over to another drive or your d drive which is going to be the link shell extension i'm going to link the website down below in the description box this is where you're going to download it onto your computer um, it didn't do anything to my computer as far as viruses or anything like that so don't be afraid to download it this works for me and I know it's gonna work for you guys thank you so much Candice this is much appreciated and I know everybody else who's gonna use this method will appreciate you as well thank you for reaching out to me but without further ado let's get into Hold up, before I get into this video, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified when your girl release new videos every week. Okay, so this is the Link Shell extension website. You're going to scroll down, I believe you can go to download. Just click download and scroll down. And these are the download, download links here. So before you do that, I would recommend you go t into your search bar at the bottom um, quickly, just really quickly to let you all know, I am working on a Windows 10 computer. I do not have a Mac computer. So I'm so sorry to you guys that are using a Mac computer. I'm not sure if this is the same process, but I am working on a Windows 10 computer. So you want to type in system and then click system information and this is going to tell you what type of pc you have so i have a 64-bit pc you want to make sure that if you have a 64-bit pc that you're downloading the download specifically for 64-bit if you have a 32-bit you need to download the download for 32-bit pc so i just want to make that clear for anybody who is wondering if your PC is 64 bit or 32 bit. So obviously my computer is a 64 bit. So I went ahead and clicked here where it says click here for 64 bit or click here for 32 bit and you want to download that. And then I went ahead and downloaded the link shell extension. So you wanna download that, it's gonna download onto your C drive once you download it, it's going to look something like this and you will just double click on it and it's going to ask you if you want to install it. All of that jazz, I don't want, I don't want to wait for it to come up, but it will ask you to, if you want to install it, if you want to give your computer permission to install the software. And after you do that, everything will work fine. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is go into your documents folder, open up a window, and then you want to open up another window with the drive that you're going to be saving your electronic arts folder to. For me, that is going to be my D drive. So the next thing that you're going to do is you want to copy and paste your electronic arts folder over to your new drive. As you can see, I have already done that here and I renamed it as saved electronic arts folder. So if you open my folder, my Sims 4 game is there all of my mods saves everything of that sort is there and that is where your information will now be stored on your new drive for me that is my d drive so the next thing you want to do is open your electronic arts folder and you will see your sims 4 folder here you want to go ahead and delete that folder don't be afraid i promise you guys you already have it backed up on your d drive so go ahead and delete the sims 4 folder 
off of your C drive in the documents folder. Once you do that, you want to open up your electronic arts folder on your D drive. Then you want to right click, let's see, right click the Sims 4 folder. Then you will go to pick link source. Once you pick your link source, you will hit the back arrow here. Then you will click, right click it, and you will see a drop down menu and you're going to click junction. So when you open up your electronic arts folder, you will see a junction link. As you can see, I already had one here. So I'm going to delete this one. You all don't have to do that. But my junction file is already here. So basically what it's doing is reading all the files from my D drive and um, so that I can continue playing my game without, you know, the game taking up space on my C drive. So if you open up the Sims 4 folder, everything is still here. My mods are still here. My saves, everything is still here. The only difference is, is reading my files from my D drive and it's not taking up a lot of space on my C drive. It's really simple, you guys. Okay, now that you've done that, I just want to remind you guys, so just keep in mind your electronic arts folder is saved on your D drive now. So any mods that you download from here on out, you want to download them to your mods folder on your D drive, not your C drive because it's going to take up space on your C drive and we're trying to save space. Just to prove that this method does work, I'm gonna go ahead and open my Sims 4 game with you guys so you can see what to expect, how it works. Gonna turn the music down just a little bit. As you can see, with the Junction link, it does work because I do have a custom loading screen in my mods folder. And I just want to show you that my saves will load as well. A lot of people ask me about the loading times. It does take a minute to load. Um, I'm guessing it's because I have so many mods on here. The game does have to load all your mods into the game. So the more mods you have, the longer it will take to load. But it does work. Okay, so that took a little bit for it to get loaded, but it did load. And I am just going to open up my game, make sure all of my saves are there because I did make a junction file for the saves and for my mods. So as you can see, my mods are working and they're on my D drive. Again, a lot of people were talking about the loading times and I'm guessing the game is just loading all of the stuff that I have put into it. <laughs> Cause I originally used to supposed to play this game without mods, but I mean, it's so much funner with mods. But as you can see, I have some saves here. I created some restaurants here. I downloaded some from the gallery, but they are here. So it does work. It does work. Now you still will need to have those files on your C drive because The Sims reads. Let's turn down the music just a little bit. So The Sims does read um, files from the C drive, which is why we had to create a junction link um, from your D drive to your C drive. So it will be reading files from your C drive linked to your D drive, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But I just wanted to show you guys that it does work. If you have any questions, please, please, please feel free to reach out to me. 
Um, some of the questions are answered in the comment section down below on some of my videos as well. So you may find the answer there as well. If I don't get right back to you, I will get back to you. As I said before, sometimes you all's comments go to the spam section for some reason. And I usually have to go in and filter the comments and then approve them and reply back to you all. But I do try to reply back to all of my subscribers, anyone who's watching my videos to help you all I will be releasing more content soon some less plays I'm thinking about doing a legacy challenge so let me know if you all want to see the legacy challenge um, I'm also thinking about doing some bills as well but I don't know let me know what you all want to see <laughs> um, but yeah, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers. If I can get to a thousand, that's fine as well. I just want to make this video to help anyone out there who is a simmer and love the Sims, but can't seem to save enough space to download mods, things of that sort. But I will talk to you guys later. I love you family. Peace out.